Hi, it's John here, and in this video you'll learn how to build a regular website using my favourite site building tool, WordPress. Now, I'm not talking about blogs here, everybody knows you can use WordPress for making blogs. But one of the things that I've started doing is whenever I need to make a, a, a traditional type of website, I'm finding that the power of WordPress means that I can put the site together so much more quickly and with so many more design features than I would ever be able to do if I tried to build it by hand. So what we're looking at here is a default installation of WordPress on um, a local test machine in my office. I've added a few posts to it. Okay, you can see here a few posts. And as you can see from the menu, I've added a whole load of, of pages on here. Now I want this to be a traditional website, not a blog. At the moment it looks very much like a blog, doesn't it? It's got my meta, my categories, my archives, recent posts, all of this. What I actually want is I want this page here to be my home page. Of course, without comments. So let's have a look how we do this. I'm here in the dashboard and uh, what I want to do is go down here to settings and reading. And by default, WordPress will always show your latest posts because that's what you want in a blog. What I want in this instance is I want a static front page and I want that home page to be it. So if I save changes and I click home, First thing you'll notice is home is still on the left, but it's disappeared from the other list. That's because it's now considered as one and the same thing. But we still have a comment box down the bottom. Okay, let's get rid of that next. To do that, I come into pages, edit my home page. And if you've used WordPress before, you might be used to seeing a discussion box down here. And uh, it seems that in the current installation, that doesn't appear by default. But it's really easy to get to it. If you click on the screen options, turn on discussion. Okay, we can get rid of that. And here it is. I don't want comments, I don't want trackbacks. I want a proper page. So if I update this, then we come over here, have a look at the home page. And now it is just a home page. Obviously, that edit button will disappear if I'm not logged in. Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to have a proper menu structure on here. So uh, let's address that next. Now, I'm using WordPress 3.1. And one of the things that this allows now is uh, custom menus with submenus, and it's really easy to create them. So I'm going to create a new menu. I'm going to call it navigation okay create menu and I'm, I need to assign this to my primary navigation within the theme now not all themes support menus so if you want to use them make sure that your theme supports it I'm using the default uh, 2010 theme that comes with WordPress and this is what I want to work with I can then go down I can look at all of my pages and I want pretty much all of them actually. I don't want that one. I want this one. Um, I don't want sample page and I don't want new page contribution. Add all of these to the menu. And you see, this is my basic menu. I want home first. Then I want um, all of my products, but I actually want them in a product menu. So not individual items like this. So I need to create um, like a holding page. So what we do is we do a custom link. I call it products, but it's not going to go anywhere. It's just a placeholder. And the way to do this now is to just put a hash in there. And what that hash is, it's actually a link, but it says it's a link to the current page. If I put this up here, whoops, put it there, and I make all of these sub items within this menu okay so I'll have a home menu a products menu an about menu and a contact menu and on the products menu it will drop down and give me all these extra functions so let's save this and have a look at it okay go back home here okay this is already starting to look like a real website okay see 
products about contact okay looking better already now I could go through here I could just take away the widgets that give me all of these things down the side um, one of the things that I quite like to do here if we look at the widgets is I like to get rid of everything that's there now most themes if you get rid of everything that's there they will come up with some defaults which you don't necessarily want um, so we get rid of everything but I then put a custom menu up there and we're going to call this navigation if we've got multiple menus we can select them save this what this now does is it duplicates the, the menu structure on the right hand side of the screen for me so if people don't particularly like working with the menu they've got it there some themes will give you the choice to put that on the left or the right doesn't really matter but it just gives people that option if they don't like using menus so we're getting there that's looking pretty good already we might though want to add a blog on here a lot of companies these days do have a blog and I think it's an important aspect of a website so what we'll do first of all is we'll come into the pages and I'm going to add a new page and call it blog nothing in it just a blank page called blog we then come back down here to our reading uh, section of the settings menu and we're going to set the posts page to be blog save this and then finally I'll go into the menu and I'm going to add blog to my menu save the menu and as easily as that we now have the blog and if I click on it as you can see we've got the standard um, the, the standard blog uh, posts that were already there and if I add to this they'll keep coming in here just as you would expect from any blog but on the whole this looks like a regular website now one of the th little thing that I'll mention just because I know a lot of people don't like it is this admin bar across the top this is new with WordPress 3 and uh, I actually quite like it I find it handy I can click on edit page I can go straight to my dashboard from here um, I can add a new post or page fiddle about with the menus straight away from here I find it quite handy but a lot of people don't like it and I have heard that some themes get broken by having it there so I thought I'd just as a quick bonus tip in here I'll show you how to get rid of it you can get all kinds of fancy plugins but there's a really easy way come into the users and uh, I'm the administrator here show admin bar when viewing site disable that update profile I refresh it now it's gone it's as easy as that you simply need to set it on a per user basis so people if they want to use it they can use it if they don't want to use it they can get rid of it um, if it breaks your themes just get rid of it for every user I'm John Landells from Internet Marketing with John at www.johnlandells.com and I'll see you in my next video